me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 39 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add jump pads. All right, so there's going to be a link in the video description. You know, I want you to download that, extract it onto your desktop. And, uh, you know, once you already have that covered, we're going to open up the download. And once you open it up, it's going to look like this. It's going to say Black Ops 3 Jump Pads. And it's going to say Red Space 200. Now, Red Space is the person that provided us with the scripts and the prefab. And also another person named Porter. So uh, much props to those two guys for making our maps that much more epic. So uh, thank you, fellas. Much appreciated. All right. So now that we got that covered, let's uh, start implementing this into your map. All right, so let's open up the folder. Once you open it up, you're gonna see four folders and two text documents. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna add these four folders into the root folder of your Black Ops 3. So let's open up Black Ops 3. There we go. Now, this is the root folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these four files. I'm gonna drag them in. Now it's telling me to replace it because I already have the files. Most likely for you, it's not going to say that. So it'll just copy it right over. All right, cool. All right, so now that that's done, let's go over to our sound aliases so we can start adding the sound files for the jump pad. So what you want to do is you want to go over to share. You want to go to raw. You want to go into sound. And you want to go to aliases and you want to go into user aliases double click on that it's going to open up the text document you know once you already have that open you know just move it over to the side there you go now we're going to open up the text document that we got in the download that says setup so double click on that move it over to the right and you're going to come over here to where it says sound and you're going to copy this information that's right under it copy that and you're going to paste it in in your sound alias there you go all right so that part is covered hit file hit save and we're done with this part all right so you know go back into the black ops 3 this time we're going to go into user maps. And when you're in user maps, you're going to see a folder that says map name. Now this is another file or at least another folder that was added when we dragged over the four folders. So go into that folder and you're going to see another folder called scripts. You want to highlight it, right click, hit copy. And now we're going to back out back into user maps we're going to go into the map that we're implementing this into in my case it's zm jump pads for you it's going to be your map name and once you go into there you're going to see english scripts sound zone zone source now you want to paste that scripts file or scripts folder right in here and it's going to add some information into the scripts folder so if you double click into the scripts folder, you're going to see that it added a new folder that says underscore red space. If you go in there, that's the GSC that's controlling the jump pad. So we're going to back out two times, once and twice. Now we're back in our map name folder. So now we're going to go into zone source. And you're going to see your map name zone file. Open that up. Let's move it over to the side. Now, over here where it says low files and map, you're going to copy this information. And you're going to paste it into your zone file. Now, me, I already have that. I just put these double slashes, jump pad. But that's what it's going to look like once you paste it in. So hit file, hit save, close it out. Now the last thing we have to do is add some information into our GSC file. So uh, go 
go back to user maps and then go to your map name. Now go over to scripts, go into ZM and you're going to open up your map name GSC file. So double click on that. There we go. Now it's open. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the set of uh, text document. You're going to scroll up and it's going to say on the top it's going to say script and it says at using script underscore red space RSO jump pad. So you're going to copy that and you're going to paste it in the area where you have the at using. So this one can be right above main. I'm just putting it right on their scripts, ZM, ZM user map. So that's good. As long as it's not inside of the main function, you're good. Just try to keep it right above it. Hit file, hit save, and that's pretty much it. Now all we have to do is open up Radiant, navigate to your map, and start adding the prefab. So let's do that right now. Okay, cool. Now that I got my map opened up, we're going to hit B on the keyboard and we're going to pop in the prefab. So you're going to want to go into MISC, prefab, you want to pop that into your map. Now once you open up your prefab, you want to go into ZM and it's going to be a folder called Red Space. Double click on that and you're going to see a prefab called zm underscore jump underscore pad dot map. So double click on that. And there it is. All right, cool. Now this is where I'm going to put the jump pad because this is the starting point of where you're going to be flung. So let me re-angle these uh, arrows because the arrows are pointing in the direction where you're going to be flying. So there we go. Now you want to stamp this prefab because this is just the pad where you're starting. So let's stamp it. And if you see that little red line go into this struct, now you want to select the struct and you want to move it to the spot where you want to land. So in my case, I'm going to move it all the way over here so I can fly down to that area right over here. Let me drop this down. And there we have it. All right, cool. So uh, hit escape. Hit file, hit save, and I'm going to compile the map, and I'll see you guys in game. Okay, guys, I just finished compiling, so uh, let's check out these jump pads in action. Here we go. All right, got my map loaded up. Give me a... Make sure these zombies come through. There you go, senior zombie. Alright, so let's run upstairs. And there's the jump pad. Alright, let's uh let's give it a go, people. Ah, there you go. Alright, cool. Works perfectly. You can tell that it has working sound and has that cool little stomp when he lands. So let's give this another go. Now the reason it's doing that is because uh, it's hitting my sun volume I believe. So I just have to stretch it up a little bit so the lighting won't change once I get to a certain height. But the jump pad is working perfect. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button. 
and subscribe, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.